Hey guys, in this video I will show you how to enable SSH on Ubuntu and also how to connect to the SSH server on the Linux machine from a Windows machine with Boti. So let's jump in. Enabling SSH on Ubuntu, here is an uh, article explaining how to do this. It's handy, we can copy the commands from here. Let's start by opening the terminal on this uh, Linux machine. So let's just copy the commands from here to so the update and up install OpenSSH server. We have to fill in the sudo password for the first time we used that command. Okay, it only took the first command. Copy in the second one. Now it's installing the server. Ubuntu has a firewall on it, so we still need to open the firewall. But first, uh, let's use this command to check the status of SSH. It says it's running, so all of that's fine. We'll press on Q to exit that. And now we can open the firewall. SSH default port is 22, so this command will, will open that port. And yeah, actually it's also recommending PuTTY for, for a Windows machine. You can download PuTTY here. I'll leave a link into the description for this article down, down below. So yeah, check that out from there. So now, now let's go back to the Windows um, desktop and open PuTTY to see if we can connect to that SSH server. Uh, so here I have the IP for this is a now local host on the same network. Let's open the connection, uh, accept this uh, fingerprint, and then logging in as John with my password, and I'm in the system. So this is really handy if you like to work on a different PC and you have a kind of Linux server on the side which doesn't have a screen on it so then you can then you can SSH in and run commands on the Linux machine do installations and also for uh, uh, connecting remotely if you open a, a port on your home network to the internet then you can uh, connect remotely to, the, to your Linux server. I hope this was helpful. Uh, if it was, uh, please uh, give a thumbs up and also consider subscribing for future uh, similar content as well.